Oh, crap. Uh, stay there. I'll be right back. Somebody comes in, they didn't take the trash out, but they moved it, which makes me think they were vacuuming, which I guess would explain how some of this stuff has been falling off the monitors. Is that where it's supposed to be? Sure, why not? Guess what was on sale over the weekend? That's right. Mmm. I need that. It is Tuesday, 5.52 p.m. and 80 degrees. Rain and clouds have kept the temperature down, and there was a fear. Well, I wasn't afraid, but there was this concern that we may not hit 80 today, and that would break the, the streak we've had this summer. However, we did. We hit 82 unofficially here, and we hit 80... Mm, I think just 80 officially at the airport. Thank you, Weatherbug, for popping up that ad in front of my monitor. It's the big day after the big Raw 1000, and we're all in, what is it, what's it called? Post-holiday depression? Post, uh, I don't know, seasonal affective disorder, seasonal, I don't know. It's all over. Now all we can do is look at each other and say, what have we, what have we gotten through? What's going to happen? Is AJ a better general manager than John Laurinaitis? And how stupid does the board of directors have to be to pick AJ as the, as the general manager anyway? And does this mean that AJ and Daniel Bryan are no longer fiancés? And what will happen on SmackDown? All of you who don't care about wrestling, don't care about any of this stuff. Does my neck look weird? I don't know. Maybe it's the shadows. I shaved. That's the problem. But I want to. I want to like get into a regular pattern of shaving. We'll see if that works or not. I'm gonna try to shave before you see me tomorrow. Fifty-fifty chance. <sighs> so I treated way too much. And I can tell three hours is just going to be a slog. But I like getting feedback. And the rest of the week, I just end up not being on Twitter as much, or not tweeting. Working. Go figure. Working at work? Come on, man. Across the hall from me, Locked up offices have been unlocked, replaced with uh, doors that open because they don't have any locks. So the first thing I did was open one up and turn the vertical blind so I could see out the window because that was the thing that always used to piss them off so much that they put locks in the doors to keep me from being able to get in there and look at the weather. What I hear is that some patent lawyers are going to move in and take up those offices. Now, those sound like some fun cats. I'm not sure why they're putting patent lawyers, patent lawyers next to the tech support guys when there's a perfectly good building full of people who actually patent stuff who would need to talk to the patent lawyers. But they're in this building. I guess they had to have windows. I mean offices that have windows. I'm on the inside. But... A couple of painters came by to paint the inside of the office. I don't know why. I guess because when they were locked, they didn't get painted. And God forbid we put some new folks in offices that haven't been painted. It'd be tough to paint this office, although it kind of needs it. The guy before me had a lot of stuff up on the walls, and I can see like the damage that he caused, either with tape or pins or whatnot. And I've put some stuff up myself, although I'm using poster tack that kind of works, 
but definitely doesn't leave the same kind of residue. I bring all this up because about five minutes ago, one of the painters came, hey, you mind if we put some tunes on? I was like, yeah, I'm playing music in here. You might as well play your music out there. I don't care. But I can tell that they're now expecting to be kind of working without other people in the building. So i got to wrap this up and get out of here. Not that I have a lot left to do today, thankfully. Uh, let me get to the W, where Greg was very kind and said that he enjoyed la uh, yesterday's uh, video. Thank you. I also think, Greg continues, that you, Samuda, Sky, etc., had a pretty substantial role in increasing ratings for televised professional wrestling. You may not be giving yourself enough credit on this. I think you're delusional. I think we did not move the needle at all. It was a coincidence that the rise of pro wrestling websites on the internet and the rise of television ratings kind of happened at the same time. Because if it were true, we could affect the ratings today. And I don't think anybody out there thinks that that's happening. Although, I'll bet the newsroom is awful popular because all those people who hate it keep watching it just so they can make fun of it on the internet. I've said this before. I gotta stop repeating myself. Where the hell was Blackman? Where the hell was Blackman? Has he tweeted today? Has anybody seen him? Maybe he got lost on the way to the arena. He's still, uh, lost. His last tweet, see you in three hours, giving the impression that we would be seeing him on television, on Raw. I retweeted it. I was so excited. So he hasn't tweeted for over 25 hours. Hope he's okay. Anybody, anybody want to give him a call who knows him? Make sure he's still alive. Now, of course, what we would do... Uh-oh. Good. Now, 559. That's my 559 page. Um, thinking back to yesterday's show, was there any point where Steve Blackman could have appeared where he didn't? In other words, does it look like anyone had to be like a last-minute substitute for what would have been a great place for Steve Blackman? And the only thing I could think was... Nope, not even that. Excuse me. He couldn't be a legend facing uh, Heath Slater because he wasn't really a legend. And also, the legend was Lita. Well, wait a minute, Lita's not a legend either. Okay, we could have had Steve Blackman there at a hardcore match instead of having him face Lita. What would we have had Lita do? I don't know. Something backstage? Lita looked all right, by the way. Good for her. I hope I look that good when I'm her age. Wait a minute. Um... Holy crap, eight and a half minutes? All right. Uh, Doug said something about VU, but I think he was giving me an excuse for not doing VU stuff. Somebody go to VU.com slash CRZ and ask me a question I can answer in under two minutes, could you? you maybe you already have. I'll go. I'll check and we'll see. Uh, yeah, that guy. Great. I'm so glad you're a fan of mine. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Something I said yesterday, well, not yesterday, but something that was quoted yesterday by G Money. Uh, another Greg. First of all, I think Greg was just looking for an excuse to get out, and I'm sorry that I gave him the excuse to get out with those comments, but a lot of people were... I don't want to say taking him out of context, because I, I do stick by the comments. I think the recapping game in 2012 is just not what it was 15 years ago, obviously. It's a lot easier to see the show, making recappers kind of superfluous, in my opinion. What I probably should have said although I wouldn't go back and change it, is my style of recapping, which is the obsessive compulsive disorder, blow by blow, every friggin' move and every friggin' match written down on paper, is totally not necessary when you can just watch the video if you want to see that. And yes, it's faster to read it, but it shouldn't be a replacement for watching it. And especially in the age of YouTube and Hulu and everything being almost immediately available, even the stuff that WWE doesn't want you to see gets uploaded within 24 hours and can be seen. Recaps, not so useful. 
years down the line, they can be used for archival purposes. But again, the video of these old shows, and you can see almost any clip you want now. I went and found that Shatner thing. I found Vince's famous speeches in 97 after the Montreal incident. I mean, you have to ask yourself, when you can actually get the source material, a recap is never going to be as good as ingesting that source yourself. And there are people who are going to disagree with me, and they say, oh, no, Chris, you are so great because you always point out something that I didn't see. And it's like, well, you just needed to watch it more closely, I think. I don't know. We're good companions, and that's one of the reasons I keep tweeting, I think. I think tweeting kind of distills down the stuff that hopefully adds uh, what am I trying to say I don't want to be like the extra something but not like the main course so I want to be more sizzling not, not steak you can get the steak by watching the show yourself but I want to maybe have an observation or a take that's interesting and maybe challenges what you're thinking but that ain't a recap anymore that's a commentary and there is a difference and one of the things that Greg was really good at and a lot of people said it was that he could kind of handle it as a journal broadcast journalist with the impartiality relative it's all relative I mean you can't totally be impartial if something, if something sucks you can say impartially that it sucks that's a fine line but you do it long enough and you kind of figure out how that works. But anyway, Greg did a fine job. I was not disparaging him in any way. I don't think anyone took it that way. I don't think Greg took it that way for sure. But I do think that we're in an age now where with the source material available, you don't need a recap. That was the gist. And now I've gone way over to repeat something I actually said a couple times, but that's okay. Some of you don't watch all these, so it's okay that I repeat myself. Like Mark, who still thought I was going to do a recap, even though I said on no uncertain terms at least three times. Of course, Mark thought it would be a good idea to start that thread about the baseball because it just happened to be geographically close to me. Mark! Oh! Mark kind of lives in his own world, though. Probably isn't watching this one. I hope not. If you are, I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Uh, I probably have the wrestling out of my system, so uh, let's talk about something else tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. Bye.